I'm I'm sorry, Steam, can you fuck off? Fuck off. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Alterial. Welcome back to Dial Town. Today we're gonna be finding Randy. I don't know where the hell he went, but we gotta go find him. Oh, I can talk to a nearby passerby. Hello? Yeah, hello, hello! Oh, hey there! Gotta eat something, friend? Who you identify yourself? Oh, oh! You can tell me here if you like. Sorry, uh, is there anything specific that I can help you with? Uh, I'm pretty great for work, and if I I'm in, if I'm in the door even a moment after noon, Mr. Kennedy will have my pie for brunch, which he eats at the ripe hour of 5 p.m. What the fuck? What company do you work for, Blizzard? Uh, so are you single by any chance? What the fuck? Wow, okay. I'm not cheating on my boy Randy, alright? I don't care what the Republicans think, I'm gonna sh fuck Randy! Hey, before you go, have you seen Randy? Randy! Randy! Uh... I don't know him in the door, alright? Oh, where do I know him from? You ever seen a man get dragged away by a swan, kicking and screaming? Oh, that Randy! Oh, I don't know him. Oh, good guy, good guy. Oh, yeah, it's a few. It's been a long time since I ran into him. About last week, actually. I used to work over in a nearby burger joint and ask me if there's any jobs going at the fast food place I worked at a while back. There's the day us. Randy's a nice guy and all, but I can't picture him in a sweaty beer bear suit. I know what you're from! You can't hide it! Anyway, if Randy asks, tell him to stay far away from the door. Sure, okay, I'll definitely let Randy know to avoid the bear. Whatever that is. It's the name of the restaurant I work at. Wow, how creative. They're hiding it so well, guys. <laughs> I wonder what it can mean. Who on God's green earth names their fast food restaurant joint bear? Coach into the car, sir. Coach into the car. I don't know. I could always ask around the downtown burger joint. That place? You mean the place where I sniff at the glass and get harassed to fuck off? Yeah, no, no thanks. I, I think I'm good. I think the name of the place is Donnie's Burgers, if I recall correctly. Never been myself. Sounds good, to be honest. Heard the guy who ever owns it is a huge upper man, though. If you excuse my French. He certainly is, yes. Dipshit. Shoes me away every darn time I sniff at the windows of his restaurant. Granted, he couldn't be any worse than my boss. You ever smell rotten body before? <laughs> yes, many times. In fact, next question. <laughs> oh, oh, then. I'm literally a green rotting corpse in front of you. I don't think I- You think I don't know what it's like? Well, if you think corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Yeah, not a good sign. You honestly think a creature that hasn't blinked in a decade knows that what a legally mandated toilet break is? <coughs> Yeah, if you want to find Randy, I'd ask the nearby burger joint. Um, thanks, Harry. You're a star. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay, so I'll see you on the flip side, then. Oh my god, uh, there's so many references to the Day Shift at Freddy Street games. I love those games. Ah, uh, it's been a long time. To the local burger place! And this time, not to harass the women or the windows. Uh, I usually don't do that after Saturday, let's be honest here. Well, Pornstar 15xx3, you can see- can you see Randy in there? I have more vision, man. Ten plus feet away is beyond my usual reach. Oh, right. <laughs> I forget that you're evolved from dimly lit squalid and dank environments. The hustle and bustle of the city scares me, r scaly rodent bot brain. What fucking combination of rodents, s uh, fucking s salamanders, and squalid dank creatures am I a mixture of? How do I look like a human in this world, yet act like a fucking... I don't even know what lives in dank, dark, squalid caves. That's how unnatural this is. You ever see anyone running from swans or begging for chains, perhaps? Alas, no to both. Well, that's all I've got. Unless you want to sniff the glass, perhaps? Last time I sniffed the glass, Mr. Burgerman scared me off. Do you have any other ideas? Um, alas, sniff I must, it seems. <laughs> it never ends! <laughs> you can't stop me, motherfuckers! I'll come back every week! Hey, you! We've spoken about this, you little cryptid! 
Get away from the glass, or I'll... Randy! Randy? Yeah, what about him, I'm then? Someone told me that he used to work here. Well, yeah, he did. But uh, I fired that load a long time ago. <laughs> I stopped him from burning under my skin, though, like a human tick he is. You know what they say, you give a man an inch. And I'm Randy lives in your dumpster. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's where I keep all my gamer girl bathwater. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Gamer girl bathwater. I can't believe that was actually a fucking thing. I missed the days where we preserved rapists' dicks. I'm not kidding, that's a thing that happened once, and I'm not gonna tell you the context for it, no. Uh, are you saying that Randy's in your dumpster right now? Yes! <laughs> huh, odd. Yeah, at least he pays rent, which means he at least compensates me for the wasted time, unlike some people. Yeah, we not considered scoundrels, right? Yes, yes. Be gone from me, green one. Bitch. <laughs> like, what's so wrong about sniffing the glass? All your- Like, I provide business, man. People want- you, People come to the- Did that fucking magazine just move? Yeah, it is moving. What the fuck? Well, here we are. Behold. Dumpster. Where is he? Oh, that's him. Pornstar 15 xx 3 Use your voice. Randall! I SUMMON THEE! Uh, hold on a minute, I'm coming! <laughs> please don't leave unless you're an angry tax man, in which case, please do. Okay, <laughs> hon, it's me, Pornstar 15 xx 3 Oh, foreign lord, definitely don't go anywhere, hold on. Well, hey, hon! What the fuck, you are humongous, what the hell? <laughs> It's so good to see you! Oh, phone god! I haven't scrubbed the wax out of my receiver portals yet, I... You look nice. Fuck you, asshole! I look fucking splendid! <laughs> There's so many be a dick options in this game, I honestly can't choose it, man! I'm trying to bang this dude, not fucking bang his head in! Uh, I said fuck him, not fuck him up! <laughs> You're not looking bad yourself, my garbage nectar-soaked hunk. Please don't tell me that. Me being something garbage juice is a turn on for you. What? You get what? I get what? No, 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 okay, no. I am done. I can't continue the series. I officially, I, I can't. I just fucking can't anymore. Why would you say that? Stop saying such things. Stop talking. Uh, well, welcome to Casa del Randy, I suppose. <laughs> Don't bother wiping your feet. Don't just get built again as soon as you enter. Trash is my element, Randy. My feet literally can't get any dirtier. I I mean, I know you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was, uh... Like, the smell of your egg laying juices, maybe? That's specious! But alas, you are also indeed correct, yes. Yeah, I... I assumed as much. I've never seen an egg been laid <laughs> that didn't come out moist and... Boy, the swans churn out a lot of those things. Right, right, swan eggs, indeed. This, uh, whole poverty thing you got going on, um... You know, living in a dumpster, working awful jobs and whatnot. How did you choose this lifestyle anyways? How did you end up in this bu- How did you choose it? <laughs> it's a choice. I didn't, uh... Don't tell me you didn't choose it. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. That's an excellent question, but oh boy, oh boy, do I not want to answer it. We can drop the topic if you're not comfortable. <laughs> no, I... <sighs> Thanks for the concern, but nah. I need to get all this drivel off my chest. But not here. A gentleman doesn't just brandish his unmentionables in any old burger place alley. You want me to come inside? Ah! <laughs> Please do. Don't worry, hon. I'm always happy to come inside. We're on the same track, damn it. You are immensely scary to me. But I'm not exactly Johnny and company right now, so I'm desperate enough to pretend that you didn't just completely nuke the mood. <laughs> Nuking moods and giving toot is what I do, my man. 
I was enough with me go, dear Randy, into the trash. I'm the trash man. I live in the trash. Well, here we are. Place looks uh, a little nicer from the outside, doesn't it? I'm bad at comparing shitty things, Randy. Ouch. You know I'm right. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. You are correct. <laughs> this place is pretty crummy, I admit it. The outside probably just looks better for me because half of my time is in. I see the outside, I'm leaving home to go someplace nicer. Like work, which is, come to think of it, really not no nicer than here. Between being here and, or being mauled by swans, I'd blow my brains out. That's encouraging. Still, again, I'll jot that suggestion down for later, though. Why was that sound effect so fucking loud? What the hell? Just in case. <laughs> People from Siberia could hear that shit. So, um... About the tragic backstory of yours. Oh, alright. Uh, well, look, much of like myself, my story is pretty needless and pathetic. You see, it all started when I was born. Wow. <laughs> that early on, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of age. Damn, bro, sucks. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I just lay on my own feces till I got changed. Sounds awful. At least hatching like me can hurt hunt right from the start. Oh, I see. What, uh, what did baby you eat for nourishment? Do you even want to know the answer to this question? Mostly centipedes, and I didn't just eat that for nourishment either. Hunting him was both a mandatory activity and a sport for Will Will Me. Oh, the memories. Yeah, um... I guess I can write Centipede off the list of species that you may or may not be a part of. Wait... I'm just presuming that you aren't capable of cannibalism. Oh no, I'll just eat about anyone or anything for the right price. But my sadly finite number of eggs kinda shadows that theory. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're not a centipede. My life's complex enough without human centipede marriage laws being involved. Were you telling me about your dreadful life? My dude, why are we focusing on me right now? I feel attacked! Oh, right, well, you know I've largely lived a perfectly adequate life. Perfectly adequate. Bordering on mediocre, that is. I had a admittedly rather lousy apartment, worked full time at a burger place whose dumpster we're squatting in right now. Then one day, I decided to do something I'd rarely done before. I decided to try something new. Let me guess, you bought a crack pipe. I could already see this choice resulting in exponentially poor fortune for you. Awful idea, there's comfort and safety in dank squad and familiar crevices. New crevices and abysses may be filled with hazards and misfortune. You're telling me. Sorry, let me continue. I decided to go to the fun fair, the same one that you and I visited on our first date. You mean our only date? <laughs> oh, interesting, it explains how you knew that ticket Jerry knew each other. You mean our only date. I, I can't tell if this is rude or inviting more. I'm just gonna assume it's rude, so I'll pick it for now. Oh, I... I assume since you were visiting me here that we are on a, you know, uh, uh... That's adorable. I, I, damn, why am I such a dick? Moving on. Dick move. <laughs> anyway, it's the equivalent of like being like, yeah, so uh, we've been like dating for three months. It's like, we've been dating? The fuck you thinking about? <laughs> Visiting the fun fair with my then date turned out to be truly abysmal idea. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I. Clowns aren't even real. Or so the government wants us to think. Sorry, continue. Well, after realizing that I was too much of a shameless coward for any ride that moved faster than the hot dog stand, which was stationary, I realized that my day was getting really bored with my crippling cowardice. As I desperately gazed around the nearby vicinity for an attraction, any attraction, I was brave enough to go and I noticed something off in the not so distance. distance. An old fortune teller animatronic inside a tacky purple pine and glass case. 
just decide in a barely lit corner of the funfair, far away from the other attractions. Ah, here we go. This is starting to make sense now. My damn, my legs are broken in. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to find out why you bailed at the end of our date. Yeah, the thing is... Well, the thing looked half deserted, and you know what? It probably was. Being a tacky animatronic shoved into a barren corner of a funfair. From what I could see, only spiders and molts seemed to take much notice of the machine. But not even the name of the machine fits the appearance. Madame Mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as if the machine were and I were somehow kindred. You wanted to fuck the machine? And you were deciding to approach that thing ended up being a train wreck and a half. Did the machine fall on your foot or something? No, I... Did it steal your date? Damn, you got cooked by a robot! Not literally, no. Then what happened? I was getting to that part. I crept over the old machine and carefully slipped a quarter into its coin slot. My last quarter. And just like that, the machine started to spring to life, lights and all. But a hazy pre-recorded voice emanated from the small speaker and made it in the mannequin's torso. Place your hands upon my glass, and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified, admittedly. I mean, I already had a real live woman next to me as is, and I might as well have been a triple date at that point. You- HE WANTED TO FUCK THE MACHINE, HE REALLY DID! My date reassured me, and I slowly outstretched both of my hands and placed against the murky old glass of the machine. At that moment, my palms are so brushed at the surface of the glass, the machine started screaming at me as if I just stepped off on an air raid siren. The same words over and over again at the deafening volume. Your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. Go fuck yourself. Over and over and over again. My poor baby. Wait for it. It gets worse. I'm not gonna lie, what followed wasn't exactly my finest hour. My shipman pissed my pants, and from God forbid my torture as shriveled gonads actually managed to spew out any kids. I don't want them remembering me for this after I'm gone. What did you do? Well, my fight or flight response kicked in. I screamed from the prepubescent girl and fought the machine, and then the machine fell over on your foot. WHY DID YOU KEEP INSISTING THAT THE MACHINE FELL ON MY FOOT?! So you're saying that it definitely didn't? In a way, I guess it did! The machine fell straight on top of me, my whole body! Yep, there's the kicker. The machine kept waiting, wailing the entire idea while I was pinned under it. It took me f it took four men to mach lift the machine off me. I was pretty banged up, but hey, I noticed that my head was just about in one piece, meaning I was still very much alive. <laughs> A Christmas miracle, unfortunate vet. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle! Little Timmy fell down the well and didn't die! God damn it, Timmy! Why are you still alive? You must be Rasputin or some shit. It wasn't Christmas. Yes, well, Syrian. <laughs> <laughs> I stumbled around and admittedly having a pretty gnarly concussion. My dad asked if I was okay and I, uh... Kinda stumbled hands first and grabbed her, uh... Mary Melons. Which she responded by screaming and pushing me, causing me to fall backwards, hitting my already damaged head on a nearby rock, which caused my entire head to cle be cleaved in twain and my circus wives to spill out. You spilled your disgusting cranium innards all over the place? God, how embarrassing. Uh, I woke up in the emergency room a few days later. Apparently the doctors just about managed to patch me back up with some... Uh, ...considerable difficulty. Oh? Well, the blood trauma of the impact kinda dented my broke it. Most of my internal internables. My brains and whatnot, you know? What? What docs were able to about put the docs were able to just about get everything back in one piece, but really struggled to fit my misshapen parts back into my head. The main surgeon banded my head back up and chatted to me while applying the bandage. The fuck is he a, is was he a scalpel or a pressing iron? 
mentioned in passing that due to the difficulty of getting all the bits in the brains, skull, broken glass, and phone pieces back in my head, but if it took the bandage off for even a second... Kaboom! Oh my god! The doctor put dynamite in your head?! No, he mentioned that my head exploded on its own. You know, pop like a giant oozing pimple? Oh! Hot. STOP THIS! So why does the bandage have fuckface written across it then? Oh, right. That. So basically, while the time put the finishing touches on the bandages, I was telling him about my evening from my mediocre day to the machine falling on me. And the doctor laughed and stated that it was quite a small world because his daughter had been on a date at the same fun fair in the same night as the accident. And that their date had also been crushed by an unfortunate telling machine before groping her fire, falling backwards and then... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> how, how, how coincidental! He decided to write fuckface across my bandage because the whole groping his daughter fiasco. Yikes. Why didn't you just, you know, wash it off? I tried! Believe me! As soon as I got home, I tried! I couldn't have gone into work with fuckface hurting across my forehead, and getting fired would mean losing my only source of income, an admittedly lousy but only place to live. Oh, come on, it couldn't have been that hard to get off some marker off a bandage. It, it's deep in the fibers! I tried water, soapy water, bleach, drain cleaner. I could, I would have just drank the bleach drain cleaner, admittedly. Sorry, continue. Well, I must have passed out from the drain cleaner fumes because I, uh, I turned up for my shift at the burger joint three days late. I as a cat and holding possum in my arms. Needless to say, Bunny fired me on the spot. Yeah, but I'll do it all right. So. I ended up losing the apartment and you know. I lost my job, lost my apartment, lost my only self-respect and my hope for a better future, but I gained a possum! A fair exchange. Seriously? I don't see why not. Yeah, free food, man. I lost my home, my job, my hopes and dreams were shattered! Well, I was a gainer lousy rodent! Hey, hey, that's not true. The last part isn't- I mean, possums aren't rodents. They're marsupials. But, yeah, they are indeed quite lousy. Oh hey, there he is right now! <laughs> how to play possum, live in squalor, how to make trash nest presentable, screaming at your own truly engaging pastime. Screaming at your own ass, <laughs> oh I read that wrong. <laughs> Story diversions, how to break up narrative monotony with misc cutaway gags. He's adorable! He's a flavor! He's flavorier than- You're just jealous. Of what?! His fleas?! Oh, how much do I care about him? I'm not- I mean- You just met him! And I die for him, Randy! Let's name him. Look, possum antics aside, I- I've been renting this dumpster for my old boss since it's technically the cheapest property in town. And I still barely make enough to pay that hungry bastard's gouge rent. Or tell how much money I lose from getting mugged by hospital birds and losing tips by depressing the weirdo customers who call the phone sex hotline. I... I can't stand for this anymore! This place is depressing enough as is, and relieving who I am here has just made me realize that this- and at this rate, I'm gonna die in here! Cuddling my discarded body pillow around the maiden nest, comprised solely of used syringes and old newspapers! Uh, that's the spear- that's the spear! Go wild, Randy! Stick it to the man! Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'd finally kill me! Wouldn't that make be a sweet release? I need to get out of here. I don't want to see the world! Okay, scratch that. The world is scary and hostile, and I'm made out of paper, and are such fragile things. I need to see some more that isn't here! I... Hang on a second. How long have we been talking for? Um, 27 minutes. I'm looking for work, aren't I? Oh no! Oh god, oh no! No, no, no! Yeah, you're off the chain now, Andy! Go truly nuts! No, you don't understand! All of that, I have nothing to lose, talk was just... 
<laughs> Talk! I could lose my dumpster! It's all I have left! Oh, phone god! There's somehow a place even lower for me to sing to! Yeah, my tent where the children clean it up every weekend! I can't go back to the streets, man! I reek of desperation! Actually, Alpha Male Fox will smell my whimpering cowardice and instantly attempt to mug me. And when they realize I have nothing left to take, they'll take their frustration out by taking turns hitting me over the head with the garbage can lids. Why not? I'd protect you from them, hun. Oh, sure. So you spit cryptic acid out to a few fucks for me. But then what? What of my life? I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose my job. I need to get work! I'm sorry I've just ditched you like this. You deserve better. You've been nicer to me than anyone else so far, and I have no idea why. Okay, fine. You haven't actually been that consistently nice to me! Ah, oh, damn it! I knew all this was gonna backstab me eventually. But I have nobody else left. This is truly Stockholm Syndrome. This isn't even like good. This is just Stockholm Syndrome the game. So this is goodbye then? For a whole five or so hours till my shift at the park is over, yes. Wait a second. Dude, I live in a tent at the park! Wait, did you say that you dwell in a tent at the park? Oh dear, that's quite unfortunate. You are a dumpster, Andy! <laughs> I win, as far as I'm concerned! <laughs> okay, very fair. I guess I have no problem then, eh? You know, it ain't such a bad life anyway, Randy. No rent, greedy landlords, annoying roommates. Minus my close proximity to drug dealers and hostile pawnbirds. It's not a bad gig. Yeah, no thank you. As awful as this dumpster is, uh, if I had to spend another second at that park than necessary, I'd just end up ripping this damned bandage off. Right, but then you wouldn't have fuckface on your forehead anymore, though. Yeah, and my brains would spill out. But then wouldn't you be fuck? <laughs> but then you wouldn't be fuckface anymore either. I'll just quickly jot that existence down to. But I mean, my point was, you're heading towards where I live. So we're actually going the exact same way, Randy! <laughs> Why not make this a... a... a date? Oh, wowee! Oh my god, he's actually dancing! <laughs> I've never been asked on a second date before! As if I'd be willing to lose my cutesy bubble bum bum like you! I think not, hon. Oh, baby! I am not watching this! A second date, I... Finally, something to cross my bucket list! Right between Pettis Smooth Rock and Dyson or other than the fast inside a fast food place toilet stall. We uh we can't work on the rest of the list later. We can work on it. Well then, let's waste no time. After you, my sweet. Uh huh, just watch your step. The uh, moisture trash can get quite slippery. How did I not realize this earlier? He said this multiple times before. <laughs> Alright, just 15 more minutes of walking and- Excuse me? It's only 15 more minutes until we hit the- 15 MINUTES?! Okay, I see you have some kind of cryptic propulsion system <laughs> that allows you to get around using your legs. It sure must have taken you at least 15 minutes to walk from the park. SUBWAY! You took the subway here? Wait, I could have sworn that you've repeatedly said that you're literally penniless and poverty-stricken. Oh, I don't pay the fare, I just usually hop on. Who's gonna stop me, the police? <laughs> <coughs> Nobody hassles you, or at least has your ticket? Nope, usually people just look the other way because of my six fucking nipples, Randy, and my magnum fucking dog. Literally, people hate looking at me. I, I don't, I can't, I don't know why. I'm literally green, man. People leave me well enough alone. Huh. If you're with me, no ticket dude's gonna bother you. Besides, if I ever see a staff down here, the whole subway's falling apart down there. <laughs> the whole subway's falling apart down there. It's lawless. <sighs> you know what? Why the heck not? I'll take the risk. 
Time to spend my dear and loving companion. After all, what could possibly go wrong? How the fuck did this happen? Your wallet, bozo, hand it over or you bum bone face gets it. Why did I trust you? You only eggs! Nothing needs to be rude. Just because you're getting mugged doesn't mean you get to pout. Oh god, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep learning to hide in your shell for as much as your life as you can, like a hermit crab lesson, and then sporadically keep unlearning it just to make my own life even worse? Haha, <laughs> you're an idiot, Randy. <laughs> this was your idea! You suggested this! Yeah, but such idiocy is expected of me! When you were to get this Neanderthal key. I'm sorry. How the fuck did this even happen? I, I I know I get that I a fucking cryptid never get assaulted, but like how the fuck do you get assaulted? It's so surprising as it is hilarious. Hey, I'm fucking in am I fucking invisible? The wall it goes over, I'll start a stabbing. His head is a knife. But you're holding a gun, you can't. You will learn what it's like to be stabbed with a gun if you don't hand that wallet over, so help me bone God! Oh god, oh god, sir, I don't even have a wallet, I... Wait, you don't have a wallet? Bullshit, everyone's got one! I, uh... So, what do you carry your money around in then? I only have change, I don't... Then hand it over! I don't care if it's a mere pittance! I demand monetary compensation for this so far fruitless endeavor! <laughs> 50 next extra. Yes, this is the only money I have left. I know that. Should I? Oh god, what the hell do I say? Brady's gonna get turned onto fucking syrup! <laughs> well, there could be, it couldn't be more than 150 in his pocket, but it's all he has. It's nothing! Neither is Randy's life in fairness. Nothing for nothing seems like a fair trade. But then again... If, is Randy just gonna take everything sitting down forever? Being Randy being Randy, yeah, he probably is. Until something comes along that kills him out even after he fully cooperates, that is. Oh god! I... Hun, what should I... <laughs> yep, this is what I want to say. Stand up for yourself, Randy. Don't let it like fuck you over yet again. You think I can really stand up for myself? Yes, Randy. I know you can. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, why don't we find out? <laughs> okay. I listen here, you scoundrel. I am proud citizen, and I. I'm armed. You're not. Just turn over the chains, Rand. Oh, all right. Well, here, that's every penny I've got to my name. Oh, come on, Randy. Cool beans, thanks. You know what the funny thing is? This thing isn't even loaded. Oh, are you kidding me? Hey, I've gotten good enough at this to know I'll only tell you that after I'm done robbing you. Haha, <laughs> I'm so great. If the gun's not loaded, then I'll... May I have some change back, please? Some? Why are you not- Why are you negotiating with them, Randy? Ask for all your money back, man! It's a no right- It's a no right way, bozo. Negotiate, Randy! It's the art of the deal! For the record, I said that the thing was unloaded, not that I couldn't snap your neck like a breadstick if I felt like it bandages. Okay, that's completely fair. I have a nice day! You're pathetic, man! Later, bozos. Oh, come the fuck on, Randy. That was pathetic. Did I do good, hon? <laughs> For about six seconds, sure. And what a nerve-wracking six seconds over, indeed. How the fuck could you f fail even more? Like, dude, you've got nothing left to live for. How the fuck do you fail like that? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a damned train wreck. I'm a mere schmuck. Why I can't avoid even getting mugged right? Don't beat yourself up, Randy. Getting mugged is rarely voluntarily. <laughs> oh my god. 
By definition, isn't it never voluntarily? I don't know about that, man. After all, some people pay taxes willingly. Oh, come on! That wasn't even like... Ah, I get it. It, it, it. Yeah, okay. I hate how accurate it is. Cha cha cha! I'm here all night, folks. Oh, fuck off! I'm funnier than all of you fucks. Yep, still got it. Let's just sit quietly and wait till we get to the park. Actually, there is a guy who got willingly mugged. It was uh, during the prohibition. I don't remember his name, but uh, yeah. during the prohibition, basically, our alcohol was outlawed. That's the main point of the prohibition of America. Uh, it was around the 1960s, I think. I don't fucking know, somewhere around there. I, I have a vague knowledge of timelines. Um, and what he do, right, is that he, he was basically, he started out as a lawyer, but uh, eventually he saw a bunch of clients paying off like a bunch of huge fine. He's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna become part of this whole alcohol selling business. So what he did was he hired a pharmacy uh, because alcohol was outlawed in America, but you could still drink it and pharmacies could still buy it and stuff like that. And it could still be used in religious reasons. So what he did is he bought a pharmacy and uh, and like bought all the liquor, then made a, bought a moving company so he can transport the liquor, and then he had a goons who would hijack the liquor and then steal it so he can sell it again. And if that's not the most batshit backwards way of literally heisting yourself, I don't know what is. Well, here we are. Are you syringes, discarded condoms, and enraged avians, pilled paradise? Oh, phone god, I hate this place. At least the grass acts as free condom dispensary. Yeah, for used condoms. Condoms a condom, man. Please tell me you don't actually touch those. Can I plead the fifth? I really shouldn't touch those, though. Even yeah, if you have a reptilian immune system, you don't want to catch something nasty, you know? Relax, I could just shed infection limbs if I wish so. <laughs> Do they grow back? Oh, I meant shed them with like a chainsaw. No idea if they grow back. I'll get back to you on that one. Wait, didn't I say I have a tail that I'm waiting to grow back? What the fuck is this? Huh. Yep, this place is truly wretched hive of pond scum and brain bird villainy. So what now? I... I guess it'll get to work. You see any hostile swans or anybody? Uh, if you alright. Guess you shouldn't take those out then. Five to one. Randy's obituary. Those are fairish odds, right? Napoleon stacked up against worse. More usual than fair, perhaps. Yeah, same like Napoleon. Heck, I can't do this anymore! Those things are medium-sized dogs, killed, fettered dinosaurs, and snake necks, and they have team! This isn't worth any amount. This isn't worth any amount of money, and certainly not the kind of money I get for it. And if only I didn't use that damned fortune teller machine, this whole chain reaction of object misfortune wouldn't have even happened. Uh, who am I kidding? Hey, you were right. I need to stick up for myself. Those things will never get better, and I'm sure the world that I deserve better, you know? You know, winners have B -E B -D -E sug. B D E sug. BDE? What does that even stand for? Big Dick Energy! <laughs> Bolding down emotion! I have no idea what that means, or who Darren even is, but the spirit's there. <laughs> it damn well is! I need to take charge of my own destiny or die trying! I'm hoping it won't come to that and that, uh, simply trying will be sufficient enough, but you know... Oh, uh, hold on. I'm... getting a call. On the hotline. Randy, you aren't actually gonna take this. I'm sure it'll be but, but a jiffy. Maybe a customer will finish it quicker if I cry during. This is grim, man. Not even the lowest people I've seen on the internet go this low, man. Fucking Roxanne Simper 96 has better standards than you, what the fuck? Hello, sir slash madam. My name is Randy Jade, and I'm Randy for you tonight. I'm sorry, my manager, he forces me to save that. Yeah, yeah, I know the spiel, yada yada. Wait a minute, that voice. Alright, let's go down to some business. What you wearing, darling? 
Well, I'm kind of wearing a denim jacket and white plate shirt with a busted button. I've gotten bandages on my... Yeah, you dirty slut. I, you would. Hang on. Did you say bandages? Well, yeah. I... Out of curiosity, did you just get off the subway a little while ago? Yeah? How did you know? Dude! I just mugged you! That was me! Bro, how cool is this? I just called the dude I mugged! Hey, Danny! Check it out! I just called the dude I mugged! Oh, nice new small world, am I right? Yeah, I... Dude, I'm using your pittance as a whole to call you! Right now! I'm literally using your last fistful of change in order to get my rocks off! Boy, what a world! <laughs> I think I'm gonna start crying in a yeah, and I'm actually worried that I'll enhance the experience for him. Randy. Hi, sweet lips, you still there? I. Yeah, of course you are. I've got the 5 155, so the next four minutes I'll take me to finish the kill amongst other things. I'm a VIP. So, dog, talk doity to me. Uh, hi, Randy. Randy, the clock's ticking! Come on, man! This is beneath you! Roxanne Super doesn't go to this low, man! And he gets pegged by a fictional character! But this is my job, Porn Star 15xx3. I should not have chosen that name. That name is probably the worst thing I've ever experienced. At least one of them. Hell yeah, it's your ch I mean, hell yeah, it's your job! Like my Randy impression, sweet cheeks. It's a job to serve me, to please me. S sweet cheeks? Pow! What cheeks? I don't have a face, my head is a fu- Oh, don't you play coy, you know exactly which set of cheeks I mean. Randy! You're worth more than this. Okay, except I'm clearly not. You are- whatever that said. Randy, no offense, but your life is objectively worse than mine. And I live in a tent harassing children at a playground. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! I'm really blowing this whole living thing, aren't I? You can fix that at any moment, though! I... I... You're right. I'm sorry, sir, but... You're a bastard, man, and I'm not helping you get off! X fucking schools me! Why, how dare you? I'm a VIP pal, a paying customer. It's my fucking money! Who on earth even hops on a subway just to mug people on an antique gun? I actually worked for that money, you hacker! You're just a persuasive beggar who has to pass himself out as a beggar, frightened. I was a bigger friend than he has to even get a time to like people for me. Oh shit! Why you? Pal, I'm just standing here in a murky phone box with my pants tied around my ankles and you- Wow. You really are that pathetic, aren't you? That's actually kind of hilarious. I actually feel much less bad now. You might be the only person in all doubt who needs that money more than I do. Oh, don't you dare talk to me like I'm a fucking charity case. I'm tough as shit, man. I'll fucking you- I'll now this, this is sad. You know what, Randy? I, I retract my last statement about the Roxanne sim. This guy has somehow passed the fucking line. Oh, you, you think you're real tough now that you're on the other side of the phone line, eh? Pretty boy! Mark my words, pal. I'll be searching for you, and I will find you. And I will make you pay for not getting me off. To tracking a man across the entire city because he doesn't pity you enough to be willing to get you off? Jeez, talk about a cuckold and porn star 15xx3. Can you say that again, please? But louder. What? No, fuck you! It doesn't work if you're into being degraded. I thought you wanted me to be your bitch a moment ago. I can be versatile. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just gonna hang up now. What? No, you, you just ruined my line. Back in! Do you know who I am, pal? I've got mob connections, man! I'll fuck you up! Yeah, sure, bye. <laughs> no, nobody hangs up on t I was about to learn his name, goddammit! 
That was a good start, Randy. But do you think the mob connections bit was true? Did he have a- he did have a weapon head. Oh, please, the Dialtown mob are the only crowd in this entire city who are more perfect than me. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Name one successful I said they've managed to pull off. Well, didn't they steal a tiger from the zoo? They did, but that wasn't even at the point of the heist. It wasn't? Nah, they were trying to rob Phil or safe, but they fled when Ferrar shot at them with his rifle. One of the buffoons just happened to open the tiger pen on the way out, and the tiger followed them back to their base. They didn't steal the tiger, they're just stuck with it. Why not just return it to the zoo? Considering that Ferrar has a loud ro loaded rifle and is willing to use it, that'd be a bad idea, to say the least. They did try dropping it off at the city pound three times, but every time, people there just said, and I quote, Puss Puss 2, Chunkers! Ah, Dret. So wait, you're done with both jobs then? You know what? I guess I am. Swans and all. I can't face the swans again. I'm not strong enough. I'll say, they'd mug you worse than the knife cuck did. They can smell a weakness, you know. And with no money left to take, they'll gladly settle for your dignity. Oh, and your kneecaps, definitely those two. I know from experience. But I use those every day. Those bastard birds can't have them. Yeah, the only person to ever touch my kneecap should be you. And an unlicensed Colombian physician in, in certain very specific circumstances. Yeah, that, uh, sounds mostly correct, yes. But, yeah, wrangling swans and wrangling sh- smacking weapons over the phone is beneath me. Good for you, hon. Thanks! I feel so optimistic that I'm not even angry about the alpha swan eating thing this month's rent's received. And it feels good to be hopelessly optimistic, even if my whole life is logistically in ruins. Oh, by the way. You are. Uh, I think I could maybe stay at yours tonight? There's always room in my tent for you, hon. Nah, fuck that, you smell <laughs> get lost. Be a total asswipe as per usual. Nah, man, I'm, get I'm getting Randy dick tonight. Oh, I... I don't know what to say. I... Whatever it is, it better not be more ceaseless stuttering. No, it's just... CLEAR DICTATION, MOTHERFUCKER, DO YOU SPEAK IT?! Sorry, let's get to the tent end. My voice is dying, I can only do one episode per day, I swear to god, before my- Oh, by the time- By the time I'm done with the series, my voice box is gonna be fucking destroyed, man. Whoa, so this is your tent? Well, it could be our tent if you wanted it to be. You really mean it? No, it mustn't. It's a gracious offer, and it means a lot to me, but... Well, I don't exactly know how much I'd sleep I'd get every night being a mere feet away from those aggressive, fettered snake monsters. Not an issue! The kids on the playground go home once it gets dark. <laughs> oh, come on, dude! Listen, don't they fucking clean your house? If you see a child that fit, fits that exact description over the playground, please call the alien task force. Or don't, actually. They'd probably want to take a look at you, too. Come to think of it. Why would you want to take me in? You know, those kids used to be great for free labor. <laughs> What? That's awful! No, no, nothing's back-breaking! Just helping me clean the tents occasionally. You know, changing my bedding and... That's even worse! You can't have kids freely roaming around this kind of filthy water immune systems are still forming? Leave me alone, I'm too pregnant to do it myself! You've already laid your eggs! You can't use that excuse forever! Watch me! <laughs> So, uh, you know it's a bit sudden, but, uh, well, since we're back at your place, we could always, uh, you know, fuck, <laughs> oh my god, I went three words in, and I can't get through it, fuck, like, nuclear ravager trying to outfuck the entire <laughs> shit, no, <laughs> oh,
Oh my god! Why? Not how I would have phrased it, but yeah, that is indeed what I was getting at. Uh, <laughs> cool sexual antics, whatever. Okay, that'd be fine. Nah, not for me, thanks. I'm more into gravel than sex. Hot dog! It's easier if you don't look. I, uh... Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, wow! <laughs> I don't... Oh, I don't want to imagine it! Oh my god, I want to touch it. Sure, I... Hey there, uh, little guy. <laughs> so, uh, am I feeling leather or skills right now? Both? Neither? Beats me, man. I just keep feeling it. You can do. Hey, what are you? Oh! That's, uh, okay. Okay, you've given that nipple plenty of attention! My message! I'll tell you what I've had enough! Right, right, sorry! No! Oh no, this is so bad! Please, for the love of God, you've looked it already! You're so like this acid, you know! Oh God, why? I don't want to know what the fuck happened! Y you okay, poor 15 x 3 Hun? Did we just do it? The sexuals? Well, you licked one of my nipples and came to your pants if that counts. <laughs> no! No, okay, no, we're done for this episode. I'm not even finishing this. I'm not even finishing this. That's how much I fucking had enough. I've had enough. I can't continue. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm done. I'm fucking done. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No fucking no. I'm so done with this shit. I'm not even doing the outro. You fucks don't deserve it.